What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks. This is Droid's Finest, and I'm back. Lockdown Path Traveler 2, Part 86. We're gonna go fight Particio's final boss. I don't know if I'm exactly set up perfectly to fight him yet, but we'll do it anyways. Uh, am I good? Uh, everything seems pretty much good. Alright. Oh, that takes you automatically out. I didn't click the door or nothing. So what if I... Oh. Why can't I talk to you? Anyways. Oh, I should have tried to look to the sides. Now, I am sure everyone here can wax poetic about some onerous task that plagues them. Oh. Why does that always turn off? The auto... As journalists, thing. you must know that when newspapers first appeared, they were handwritten. Page by page, line by line, diligent writers would scratch ink onto paper. The supply of skilled hands could never meet demand. But what about now, hmm? All a journalist need do is pen one page. And the printing press will be your draft horse, outputting finished product in perpetuity. You can simply lean back and sip coffee, watching gratefully as automated work is done for you. How has that been made possible? Why, through the amazing power of steam. The steam engine has revolutionized every industry under the sun. Mm -hmm. Its invention has allowed humanity to make a historical step forward. But history never stops. And neither will progress. Thanks to our newest product, the Neo Steam Engine. Uh, Mr. Rock, can you give us details? This steam engine utilizes an entirely new manufacturing process to simplify production. This has made it possible for us to mass produce these devices for widespread use. So with that, I would like to make an official announcement. The Neo Steam Engine has replaced your jobs. Is now for sale to an exclusive market of world governments and wealthy and aristocratic families. The steam engine has revolutionized industry. It has created massive quantities of untold wealth. Ponder this truth. The more steam engines you own, the more wealth you will amass. With this, our world civilizations will surely advance by leaps and bounds. And it's all thanks to us, The Rock Company. Hold your horses. <laughs> Particio. Mm -hmm. Who else would it be? What are you doing here? This is no place for your tomfoolery. Now, now, Mr. Rock. I hope you hadn't forgotten our deal. I've come to make a purchase. My hard-earned money for the rights to your steam engine. What's this? This strange man says he's buying the steam engine? Who is that man? Does anyone know? I'm Particio Yellowwill. That's the name of the man who's gonna change the world. Remember it. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Rock. We had a contract. An agreement. <laughs> Does that mean you've acquired all the requisite money, Particio? You bet I did. I said I would, and I always keep my word. 
This here is a promissory note worth exactly 80 billion leaves, issued by the noble Alrond himself. The Alrond? Mr. Porticio, let us see that. <laughs> now, now, no pushing. Easy there, friends. Well, Mr. Rock, this is the genuine article, complete with Alron's signature. You're still so naive, Huh? Come on, let's fight it out already. In front of the crowd. Here's a piece of advice from someone who's made more deals than there are stars in the sky. Never put your faith in anything except yourself and hard currency. How do you propose to prove that signature is genuine? Even if you could prove it, what guarantee do you have said Alron will even issue the money? In my experience, I can assure you, you hold nothing but empty promises in your hands. In short, I cannot accept this. In fact, I cannot and will not accept anything but tangible currency. Huh. So that's your ploy. Come back when you've got the funds in hand, Partition. Of course, by that time, you won't have any right to purchase anything. Darn you, Mr. Rock. You never had any intention. That's enough. Rock Brilliant, I'd like a word. Hey, it's my boy. Alron. Uh, I know that voice. It's Alron. Pulling up on my ship. Hello there, Particio. How's business? I, the great Alrond, have come here to bear witness to the deal of the century. I've brought a little something with me as well. <laughs> Sir, please try to maintain at least some semblance of dignity. Sorry, no can do, Misha. Alrond! Did he say Alrond? Can that really be him? Explain yourself. I did not invite you to this gathering. Alrond doesn't need an invite. My deepest apologies for the intrusion, my good fellow. I anticipated your apprehension to finalizing a deal involving such colossal sums. So, in an effort to prove the sincerity of my good friend Particio's offer, I brought the payment in full. Huh. Wait a minute! 80 billion leaves in a few sacks? Impossible! Of course, these alone couldn't hold that tidy of a sum. You'll find the rest in this ship's hold. It was such a heavy cargo, I feared my vessel would flounder on the waves. How wrong. I too have met many sorts of people in my life. That experience gives me confidence in this declaration. 80 billion leaves is pocket change compared to Particio's worth. I swear this on the Rondwell family honor. I hereby entrust this fortune of 80 billion to the man you see here before you, Particio. Boom! In my engine, bitch. Master Alron, please! You're making a scene! Sorry, Misha, but that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Alron. <sighs> I 
finally managed to shake him. I just hope Articio's doing what he came here for. That's the game plan. Wait a sec. That's Alrond. Did he actually bring all 80 billion? Come on, Mr. Rock. Don't make me fight you. Of all the hell and impossible schemes. You expect me to believe you've brought such an unreasonable sum? You warned me, sir. Do you doubt the honor of the Rondwell family? This is wild! I can't believe what I'm seeing! This story will sell loads for sure! We've got a contract and a whole crowd of witnesses. You don't have a foot left to stand on. <sighs> Time to make good on our deal, <clears throat> Mr. Rock. Oh, is this going to be an ending when where I don't need to fight him? Is it? Is that going to be a thing? It, it might be. Come on, Bartizio, those rights are yours to buy. These 80 billion leaves are for you, Master Particio. I'd rather just keep them. Oh, I can't do anything at night. Oh my god. I don't think I have to fight him. I wonder what... Oh, wait a minute. Can I break the game? Can I... Oh, no. Can I break the game? Let me break it. Let me leave with the money. <laughs> Let me leave with the money. Go on. Oh my god, can I? No way. It's not going to let me leave. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. I'll just do it. I wanted to leave. Just take the money. Take the money and run, man. Fuck it. Alright, let's go. Huh. And that's that. I've purchased the rights to your steam engine. Fair and square. Incredible. Ooh. Ridiculous. <laughs> what a load of ridiculous, spurious, asinine drivel. No, oh, I'm gonna. Eighty billion leaves? A pittance. This steam engine will change the world. It's priceless. It has the power to mass-produce commodities and transport them in bulk to every corner of the globe. Do you realize just how momentous an effect that will have on the global economy, on, on history itself? Maybe. But even that is only a fraction of its power. It can be turned to military uses, transforming the weak into the strong in the blink of an eye. The steam engine will metamorphose the very shape of warfare! I cannot sanction this deal. This transaction is null and void. Null and void? A contract you signed with your own hands? Mr. Rock, isn't that a breach of your sacred trust? This ceremony is over. I have no more comments. None. Explain yourself, Mr. Rock. Silence. Silence, you blathering buffoons! I demand silence! Oh, I'm gonna go so kick your ass. This victory is yours, Particio. <sighs> Mr. Rock. So do I get it or what? Oh, travel banter. Random. Random time for it. Rock. Mr. Rock, he had a dream once too. He said he wanted to make his family his town 
and the whole world all rich and happy. Then he's the same as you and others we've met on our travels. Yeah, problem is, his dream got twisted somewhere along the line. Now it's been warped into pure greed and meaningless lust for wealth. That's so sad. Dreams are bright and beautiful. Things should be, should, things that should shine all the time, Ugh, for all time. Yeah, I'd say the same. I need to make Mr. Rock remember his old dream, whatsoever, whatever it takes. Uh huh. You still saying the same thing? Ha! Ah, well done. It was worth making a journey out here. I wonder if Mr. Rock truly intends to go down without a fight. Oh, no. Let me just. Uh, Okay. That was very. I don't think it was very helpful at all. Okay, I still can't rob him. Uh, hire for cheap. Woo! Wait a minute. I can hire him on my team. Wait, how good that is Alron? That was very helpful. Wait a minute. I have Perticio, right? Okay, hold on. Oh, I, it won't let me hire him. Oh, whatever. Nobody over here is going to be talking to me. He ran in there, probably. Oh, I can leave now if I want. Can I? Can I actually... No, I can. No, I can't. What was I thinking? Hire for cheap. That's not going to help me where I'm going. Huh. He locked the door. Luckily, I know how to get in there. What's that sound? He's breaking the train out. Run! Get away from here! <sighs> that was close. What in tarnation's that? The train. Okay, so I gotta fight a. Here's a story for all you little buzzing flies. Behold, the pinnacle of the Rock Company's technological wizardry. Steam Tank Obsidian. <coughs> Though I've been forced to unveil it earlier than planned, I think the time is right for a little demonstration. Uh-huh. Run! All of you! If you value your lives! They all do, apparently. Hori, what are you doing? Run! Get going! But I smell a scoop! Can't publish a headline if you're dead, Scrivener. You're right, Particio. Thank you for talking sense into me. Now, thank you for all you've done for me. Now, go on and write a good old story about this. <clears throat> Let's do this. I got no time to waste. Let's not play games, son. Mr. Rock, it's finally time for a heart-to-heart. -heart. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was right about you all along. You're a first-rate merchant. In every way except one. Hmm, yeah? And what's that? Things of value are not meant to be shared with the world. They're meant to be hoarded by those who deserve them. Only then can their true value be achieved. You know what, Mr. Rock? I still admire you. Only a man like you makes something as wild as this steam tank here. Nevertheless, I still can't find it in me to agree. So let's settle things once and for all. I'll make you honor our contract like any good merchant would. Fucking right. Do it. I'll whip I money agree. at you. Let's settle this dispute. Yeah, I'm gonna throw money at you. Fight me, Particio. 
I swear I'll pummel capitalist common sense through your thick skull once and for all. Okay, so is he going to be on the train or are they separate? He's on the train, okay. Whoa. Whoa, wait. My prey awaits. Okay, so I've clearly got to destroy the first three things. Okay. Um Does this hit all? Single photo. No. All foes. I don't know what they're weak against yet, so... Cannon, smokestack... Okay, I gotta write all this down, or I will forget, for sure. I don't... Okay, so cannon... I don't even know what it's weak against yet, but cannon... Smokestack... This is... smoke. Oh, it's so hard to write in this book. Glasses plate? You mean a cow catcher? Okay, and then I don't know a steam tank at all, and okay, I'll just write a steam tank as well. Okay, this book is hard to write in. It has these rings on the side, so it takes me a little while. Anyways, let's go! Look at that! Two of them are weak against swords. Ow. Oh my god, this is not Here fair. goes! Uh I'm invested! So I gotta kill these things off as quickly as I can. I don't even know how strong they are. No, they're that strong, apparently. Okay. Unable to steal. I don't want to steal anyways, I just want... I just want to find their weaknesses. I think it was the cannon that hit me the hardest, right? What to do, what to do. Heal our pain. I owe you one. I'm just getting warmed up. Emergency maintenance, what? My prey away. What does that even mean? Okay, I'm gonna... Get rid of that cannon. One turn until attack. Well now. Oh, if I break something, it it does that. Hold on. Oh, so this is kind of like Inventor. He's is what he's doing basically. Heal all of pain. You have my thanks, Kesty. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, guess I'm going Inventor. Guess I'll go hammer. Actually, hold on. Let's go with that on the I like how it electrocutes their life back into them. It's great. Okay, so those aren't too bad, but the cannon is bad. Oh. Poison. Must be her. 
Ah, stick with it. Heal our pain. The cannon is bad. I gotta get rid of that cannon first, I think. So he's also sword. Sword knight. The sword. Dagger. Dagger. Okay, well, at least I'll break him this time. Hope you don't mind. This is my chance. Take some of his health, dude. Then he's gonna have to fix it again, right? Oh, time out. Coming right up. I owe you one, Patricia. Not even weak yet. That sucks. <clears throat> Hold your horses. I don't like it when the cannon is no longer broken. Slash and slash. Fuck me. I did nothing. That, what did that say? Piston number 69? Hope you don't mind. At least, at least the cannon seems to be the easiest to break. So that's something. Uh, I'll go to heal okay, as well. Sorry about that. Okay, this is an interesting fight. I've, I've done a lot of fights like these in my time, but this is pretty good. Poison's gone. That's Okay. Two turns until attack. Okay, that- Oh! So it really does break the cannon oh. then, eh? Okay. I like that. Okay. That's really good. Yeehaw! Let's do it! Charge this does good damage too. Doesn't lock cannon's gone. Okay. Now I'm on top of things. Cannon's gone. Let's go. That's got to be something good, right? Inventor. Damn it, I know, I can't use the all That takes seven turns to come back. That takes one turn. Okay, well, you know what? Um, it's all right. I don't know what they're weak against. I'm gonna assume that lightning might not be good. Go on then. Okay, that I can work with. They're bo they're all broken. I've done it. Now it's just obsidian strain. Okay, let's find out what the weak against. My turn. Oh wait, no, you can't yet. You need to this heal This will him. make it all right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I had a feeling in this fight I would need to use Particio powered up um, right. using money and everything. I just figured it would be something like that. Okay, sword maybe? No, not sword. <laughs> oh god, no, it's gonna do the poison right. thing. Okay, so then how about let's try bow? Huh, sorry. Okay, so bow and then maybe yeah. axe or spear maybe. Spear? Spear, okay. My turn. How about axe? Yeah. No axe, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Cast I'm just hard. getting warmed up. So uh I'm gonna donate some BP actually. I'm investing in you. Oh, hey. Let's go. Need 
Maybe it's fire. I don't. I don't know what it would be. Oh, fire. Okay, big heal this time. Well now, heal our pain. I still don't know if he has any other tricks up his sleeve either. So it's my turn now. Does she have a bow and arrow or a spear? I don't think she does. No. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll try dark. I don't know what it is. It's dark. Okay, good. Now I know. Bring it on. Okay, so. Steam engine is. I didn't even get the first thing's weaknesses, to be honest. Uh, so, steam engine, spear, bow, and bow. Spear, bow, dark. Alright. Is it even weak? It's not even weak. Uh, I'm gonna use his just so that. Yeah. Uh, should I do it again? No, not right now. Not right now. You've got talent, Particio. I extend a helping hand. A pinch of this hand. Let's go! Uh, inventor... Knee boots... No, no, no. I guess I'll throw an elemental bomb, but... I don't need that just yet. Alright, paste it camera! camera. Then. What does hers do again? Now. Oh, well, I don't need that anymore. Shit. But what I could do. I can do whatever I set my mind to. Uh, deal. I guess I'll try this. Or wait, did she master thief? No, she didn't. So. Let's try this one. I've never tried it, I don't think. So, the let's see what it's like. Blood. Okay, not good. That was fully charged. Bring it on! Okay. Let's do this, Mr. Rock! Okay, so, no. I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. I don't care. Well, that knock. I should probably do this one, because this one knocks down shields regardless, but he doesn't have a shield up. This one's more powerful, I think. It's only 30,000, I'll do it. Let's get to work! Plus, I save money, right? So. That's a huge attack. Save 6,000. Not bad. It's my turn now. He's in the red. Uh, shit. Um. The darkness is coming. My bread hurts. <laughs> on all? No, I don't need it on all, right? I just need it on him. Let's go! That's my quarry. Ooh. Oh, I thought. Well now. Oh, uh, no mercy, only pain. Single allies turn items. Everybody drastic measures. I don't think I've ever tried this, have I? I'm gonna try it. I, I maybe I have, and I'm just not remembering it. Drastic treatment is in order. Okay. It's still not bad. He's in the red, so I'm not really afraid. I of do him. not regret for an instant any of the decisions I've made. Okay. Except for one. 
That's you, Particio. Thanks. You were too dangerous of a foe. I should have squashed you when I had the chance. Back when you were withering away with that disgusting little town. Huh. I'm grateful to you, Mr. Rock. Thanks to you, I experienced abject poverty beyond anything I could have imagined. That's what helped me realize the truth. That things of value, well, they deserve to be shared. I don't yet know just how much of a difference I can make. But I plan to do all I can to share the wealth and help make the world a happier place. D did I already kill him? And this had to play out so that... Like, he's dead right now, but this had to play out? Is that what's going on? Maybe. That's what being a merchant means to me. You simple, naive, ignorant, foolish, unsophisticated, gullible churl. Wow, and some words. The dreams of fools are in the Particio. Sell off those useless ideas. Learn from history. No thanks. No matter the time place or era, it is always the wealthy, the powerful, the deserving that define the course of history. Shut the fuck up. You sound like a goof. Wait, he's repairing? Fuck you. My turn. God damn it. Fucking good. Well, we can't really attack anything else, right? Okay, so I got them written down for the cannon. One of them is lightning. Okay, well, that was annoying, actually. Like, extremely annoying. Not what I want. Pomegranate leaf, pomegranate leaf. A pinch of this one. Right. My health is good, my um, my SP is pretty good, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to keep spending money and throwing it at it. Why, why wouldn't I, to be honest? Oh, and I'll keep breaking the cannon, because I don't like the cannon. My prey away. I don't like it. Nice work, Ochet. Drive off. Oh no. I needed Ochet to be here. Motherfucker. Oh. There we go. I'm just getting warmed up. Not so fast. Why is everything blacked out? I can't tell anybody's 
My casties. Right. Oh my god. These hands. Fuck it. She's she is fucking no. Fuck her. Heal her. This will make it all right. Fuck that. I need Cassidy right now. Here goes. Fuck it. Do this, Mr. Rock. Let's lower their shields and fuck them up, boys! There we go, he's dead. All in a day's work. Beautiful. That was a cool fight. I actually did enjoy that quite a bit. I mean, I wasted quite a bit of money. What was that? Oh, just under $60,000 I spent on that fight? <laughs> You're finished, Mr. Rock. <sighs> Actually, I saved about 12,000, right? This something is the like first that. time something's ever slipped through my fingers. Where? It was one measly pocket watch that changed my life, you know. I saw it glittering in a shop window one day, and I knew. I wanted it more than anything in the world. I spent endless hours working as a boot black. My hands stained with polish before I finally could afford it. At the moment it was mine, a deep dissatisfaction sprang to life within me. For a new trinket had caught my eye. So I went back to work. I struggled and I acquired. Over and over again I did this. Until one day, I no longer cared how I came by the objects of my desire. By the time I realized I only cared about myself and money, it was too late to turn back. Truly devastating. Oh, Mr. Rock. What'd you want so bad that you'd do such vile things to get it? Huh. I don't even remember anymore. Besides, that's all in the past now. My time has come and gone. Yes, it has. The future belongs to you now, Particio. Damn right it does. Share your values of sharing value with all. Lead the merchants of this world down a new path. This place is about to collapse. Go, Particio. Leave me. I wish to remain and watch it all crumble away. Goodbye, Patricio. I see. See ya. Can I rob him? Leave me, Patricio. Go to safety. Wait a minute. If I can ally you, is he worth my money? What does he do? I think you're misunderstanding me again, Mr. Rock. Huh? 
Now, you're talking big about me leading people and sharing values and whatnot. But that's not how this story goes. Every merchant's got their own ideals and walks their own roads. Of course, not everything's all rainbows and roses. Sometimes people stumble. My goal is only to help them get back up when they fall. Well, time to hit that dusty trail again. Uh, by the by, Mr. Rock, seeing this contraption of yours gave me an idea. After you rest a spell, how about joining me on a new business venture? You never changed. I've never met Merchant Land. Well, I gotta say, Particio is a better man than me. If somebody made me live through par poverty and I knew it was their fault, they'd be a dead man. Hmm. Hey, Pap. Pap, I've finished most of the measurements. That's so. Good work. Hmm. What do you think about it coming through here? Hmm. This valley is a detour, and will cut down on speed to boot. Optimal efficiency would be achieved by having the tracks travel straight as an arrow through town. Whoa, now. That's an urban area. I think the residents will take issue with that. Then we pay them to move. That 80 billion I'm investing in this venture should be used for something. Some things can't be bought, Rock. Those are people's homes. They got memories there. Convincing them is your job. You're the one who's deaf to tuck in people's heartstrings. From a logical perspective, this is win-win. The tracks will raise property values and bring in business. Everyone should benefit from this in the long run. Everyone, huh? <laughs> we stood here just like this once, 16 years ago. Remember? <laughs> Our eyes were shining bright with hope for that silver mine, and we worked like busy little bees. Yes, that's right. I've remembered something I had long thought forgotten. There is true value in toiling alongside equals, sweating and working for a common cause. Of course, the thing that really has me excited is this new business venture of ours. <laughs> the times they are a change, huh? Rock, uh, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> None of that, Thurston. I'm not your employer anymore. Just a simple consultant. Ah, right. My apologies. <coughs> Come now, let's start off on a new foot. Colleagues, after all. Excuse me, sir. A letter from Particio, sir. Oh god, give feels like the beginning of the day. Hey game. Pops, sorry, but I can't come home just yet. We're still short on goods and people, and I need to rustle up a whole lot more of both. After all, our new venture is bigger than a Cetus Maximus. That rap scallion. If he's gonna send a letter, he could at least include some orders from on high. Now, now, I see no issue. It's a sign of his trust in us. Besides, I'm sure he's busy out there somewhere wrapping up another business deal. 
How do you know? The president of Particio and Rock is a busy man, after all. No, we're just gonna Particio and Rock. Under company president Particio, the heavy taxes on the steam engine's use were abolished. In their stead, the company employed the poorest segments of society. As for the products Rock Brilliant had once monopolized, they were distributed freely to people all around the world. Does this change the map? <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm wondering. Extra, extra! Read all about it! Another day, another pile of overtime. Are you watching, brother? When I first met him, he handed me a silver coin. He spoke hopefully about a bright future. Though I found it difficult at first to believe him. Nevertheless, even now, he's working tirelessly to see his dream fulfilled. An industrial revolution has come, and is beginning to change the world. Cool. Maybe in the third one it'll be even more steampunkish. Who knows? Ah, uh, hey you, yellow guy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Hey there, son. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long trip to get here. My shoes could use a polishing. How about it, for old time's sake? Sure, you got it. <clears throat> I, uh, read something in a paper I found. It said you're trying to save the world from poverty. <laughs> That's right. Things are going to change if I have my say. The steam locomotive's going to see to that. The local what? It's this big old hunk of iron that can speed all over the continent faster than the horse can go. The fella could see the world easy like if he was riding in one of them. Better yet, It'll help facilitate transport and cultural exchange. Everything start growing closer. Cool. Wow, we. You know, I remember you saying you wanted to travel the world. You want a job that'll help make that dream come true? Yeah. You got yourself a deal, yellow guy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So what, he's gonna make that kid a conductor? Good story, I, honestly. I do enjoy all of their stories. I do want to get to Casty, but I think... I'm gonna end up doing... Share SP. Nice! That's actually good. See, the merchant is a great job, honestly. Did I help you yet? I don't know who Catherine is. I don't even know what I'm doing. How have I not interrogated this guy? Thank you. I thought I went around and did literally all of this. Thank you. How is there more stuff for me to do? It doesn't make sense. I went to like every single town, didn't I? Thank you. That was very. I don't. I don't know. I don't that know how this very... is even real right now. 
That was very. Oh my god. Or what? Is there more people or something? Like, I don't know, man. I could have sworn I did this. I went to every single town I could think of. And interrogated and robbed everyone. Thank you. I don't get it. Most of the things I've already robbed, that but it's fair. saying that I didn't interrogate everybody? What are you talking about? I could have sworn I did a specific video of me just doing that. Thank you. I'm not gonna waste all day doing this either. Not again. I'm out of time anyways. Elemental world? What's up here? Can't be anything that interesting. How? Oh my god. New equipment for sale. That Great. Very this is an old village that I probably don't need any of that for. Thank you. That was very helpful. Oh my god. Another hidden item. What Thank the hell? You. I'm not complaining, it's just I could have sworn I did this. Thank you. I can interrogate a cat. Okay. Thank you. Where are these hidden items? Apparently one's like up here. No, no, it's not. Thank you. Ugh. That was. I don't know how this is possible, honestly. Thank you. I'm just so confused now. How did I miss any of this? Just count at the end. That was. Oh well. I'm almost done with it, anyways. Oh, I, I, I have the thing for this guy. I know I do. He, he was asking about the Nyx thing or something like that. Thank you. I think so. Thank you. But let me. I'll see. Hey, listen to this. Uh, Royal line. Yeah, I have this, I think. Yeah, see, yeah, the Nyx royal family tree. Give him that, or should I just tell him the research? Yeah, fuck it. I'll just give it to him. I don't care. He can realize he's a terrible person anyway. Emily Tree, so that- wow, that went speeding by. And look here, there's my grandparents' name. Ah, I knew it, I do have royal blood in my veins. This should be proof enough of my lineage. I'll no longer be a laughing stock of the town. Now I can live with my head held high, thank you, friend. Okay, give me stuff. Oh, that's good stuff. Well, yeah, I should have told him the terrible news then, I guess. But whatever. You're not going to be holding your head that much higher for very long, but... Oh, I was... I was already healed. Well, I need to get the latent back anyways, it's fine. Get out of my way, you drunk. There actually is a guy lying there. I don't know if you can see him, but yeah, he's there. That was. That was very helpful. Give me. 
Apparently there's now another hidden item somewhere. There. Without even paying attention to what the items are at this point, I just grabbed them. Okay, so... Oh, wait, what? Oh, Agnia! Good, you mastered Thief! Good job! Nice. We've already had that mastered, so... Bardigio, I'm gonna maybe keep in my team for a little bit. Uh, I'll get rid of these two. Oh no, because I want to do Agnia's next thing, don't I? Before I go and explore... Um, hold on. Yeah, because Agnia's right here. And I feel like there's probably... Not too much going on while I walk down to this town. That's going to be the next episode. I'll go, to, I'll go there first, because this is actually revealed. I can't go there, I've never been there, right? So, I'll do that next episode, and I think I might try to get to Oswald's chapter 5, or no, I have to go to Casty's first, don't I? She's chapter 4. And that leads me to a huge open part of the map. Like, that's a massive part of the map. So I guess I would just go up to there, and then go west? Yeah. Alright. Well, I guess I should just head there then. I don't know exactly who's who I'm going to keep in my team. I might even just keep the same goddamn team that I'm in. Let them level up a little. Would it be quicker to go from here or from here? Probably from here, I think. That's gonna open up a huge part of the map. Maybe I can find some of the some of the secret jobs. I don't know what the secret jobs are. I figured they're probably gonna be the same as the last game, but I truly don't know. Anyways, that's it for this one. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Peace.